Alright, so I'm gonna explain what happened here. Every HVAC guy does this. I did this more than once, I think. These wires. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell that well, but on homes that are like, how old do you think this house is? 80s, 90s, 70s. The older homes, they use thermostat wire. It's like half as big. This is 18 gauge wire. This like modern thermostat wire, all thermostat wire they sell nowadays is 18 gauge. The issue that you'll have, these little terminals here, these are made to like grab and hold on to 18 gauge wire, okay? So when you try and put these old wires in here, you see that little thing doesn't actually lock that well. I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't have a very good connect. Even if it's jammed all the way in right now, and you see it doesn't really hold it down. It's like loosely in there. You can almost pull it out. And what will happen is the connection won't be good. This is a, so usually, so this was a Honeywell T4. Lots of the time, uh, if you're using a dumb thermostat with batteries, pretty much a Honeywell T4, it's not gonna be a big deal, it'll still, work, but it might be intermittent. It's a way bigger deal if you have a smart thermostat because those don't run off batteries and so then the connection is intermittent. So that's like Honeywell T6, Echo B, Nest. Really, are there any smart thermostats that use screw terms? I don't, I don't remember what these are called, um, but they're like little push to connect thermostat fitting, or er, wire terminals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, a splice right here behind it and then uh, we're gonna attach these wires to it right here and hook up to our thermostat. Uh, and then it should work real, I mean, normally. This is something I've seen probably, I mean, I've got callbacks. I got callbacks on myself for this. So I, I always find a way, it's like, if you're gonna do this, like we're, we're gonna make a, find a way to make sure you have the right wire in there. Then I got callbacks when I was working at other companies behind other guys for this so many times. Most HVAC guys don't do this. Most homeowners definitely don't do this. So yeah, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're an HVAC guy, I, I know some people are gonna say, hey, just run a new wire. Yeah, I mean, come this system right here, this is gonna get replaced sooner than later. When we replace this whole system, we'll run a new thermostat wire for them. Last summer, this thermostat was replaced by us. And then, it stopped working and the tenants never said anything and so this is a free visit because it's kind of our fault this is way more common than you'd think if you have a smart thermostat that's working intermittently i would check and make sure you have the right wire gauge because i've been out on i've had service calls before where they're like yeah I have been having issues with my thermostat for ever. It just doesn't seem to work ever since I went to a smart thermostat and then it's just this. And so it's like people will get a smart thermostat and then they'll get frustrated and they'll put their dumb thermostat back on because they, they think that the smart thermostat doesn't work. But then it ends up just being the wire the whole time. So it's like such a simple thing that's easy to overlook. Not, not that hard to fix. <clears throat> the ones that I've seen it on the most are the Nest. You know, no te voy a comprar para hacer esto. Algo que debemos de encontrar cuando estuvimos aquí. Testing the heat and the cool. Couple quick things to add. So I finish up this edit. This is the wire diameter, okay? This right here, this is our 18 gauge wire. That is in millimeters, one millimeter. This is our 22 gauge. It's 0.64 on our 22 gauge and point and 1.02 on our 18 gauge. The time of recording, I said that the wire looked like it was about half the size and the next, I mean, assuming that we do even gauges, the next one down would be 24, which would be exactly half the size. 
So it's possible it was 20, it's 24 gauge wire, but it looks like 22 gauge. This is the install manual for the Honeywell T6 thermostat. And you can see here, it says you can use 18 to 22 gauge. I would highly recommend just going with the 18 gauge. I've never seen anything smaller than 18 gauge sold as thermostat wire in any HVAC supply house. So if you're ordering stuff online and it says 20 gauge or 22 gauge, don't buy it. Just, just buy the 18 gauge. Don't, don't save $5, save yourself the headache, learn from my mistakes and just just go with 18 gauge maybe some old timers that i've been doing hvac for like 30 years can tell us more about this transition i just know it's a problem that i've dealt with i do want to add that i did hvac i do hvac in southern california i used to do it in arizona and i never once saw this problem in arizona that i can recollect and i did service there for a while never remember having an, an issue with this i it's only something that i had callbacks on when once i moved here we have a video i'll probably edit a video of the whole service call and put it out it's kind of a funny service call so if you guys want to see that uh stay tuned and it should be out sometime soon oh, yeah we, we like posting hvac videos uh, if you like hvac stuff uh, if you have an inquisitive mind uh, you like watching people work we are the channel for you so go ahead uh, subscribe to our channel like the video if it helped you out and thanks for watching